Well, I've won, and today uh, it's got a DVD, Blu-ray, and TV show collection update. So I'll get started for you. First is my films. I've only got a couple this time. I got the Pulp Fiction two disc steelbook edition. My first DVD steelbook. But I have got steelbook games, steelbook CDs, or CDs. Yeah, I have got on steelbook CD actually. And this, as you can see, this was out of print. I got this on HMV though, it, and even though it's out of print, it still had it in stock. This is the two disker. You don't get the art cards like I've seen some people do, but I'm not too fussed. It's a steelbook at the end of the day. This is my second version of Pulp Fiction. And I really do like this film. Excellent. One of my, really one of my top favourites. And plus it's a steel book, so that's go nicely on the shelf. Next up is another good edition. And in this edition, it is Saw 4. The Ultimate Gore Edition, I think it's called. Extreme Limited Edition. And it's just got the... Let's get it out of you. The Saw 4 film and comic book in there. And at the front, you've got this like a, uh, yeah, it's like a blade saw thing. And to, you press it. You thought it was over, but the games have just begun. So you see that there, it's just like a limited edition special spinny thing with all the blood splatter and everything. That was really good, I got that in HMV, that was, I'm trying to think, uh, I think it was £5 and then you got the, it was, I got it on the day that Saw 5 come out, so it was just selling all the other things off really cheap. And uh, I haven't seen, I've only seen number one, so I'm not going to watch this yet until I've caught up with the others. But, yeah, that's a really nice edition. I'm starting to lock my special editions a lot more now. Then it's mainly TV this update will be. So the next one I got was Battlestar Galactica. I know Scotty Boy 292 and Fergmaster like this. Battlestar Galactica. A lot of other people do, but they're two like the main ones who love it. So this is the mini series for the 2003 one. And it's just like a three hour long special and it's like kind of introduces you to single discs. It just introduces you to all the characters and the storyline in Battlestar Galactica. Well, that was really good. I thought they could have like uh, put it into episodes instead of just one like long three hour thing but never mind. I watched it all in one go because it was really good. I'll definitely be checking out the the other se seasons of this because I know it's just finishing now but this was really good and it's got me wanting to check out more next one I got was a good one in my opinion this is Lost, the complete season 1 region 1 edition this just comes in a nice little slip pack and then it's also like a digi inside so that's really nice it's got like a plastic cover and it's got the picture of Jack on the side and on the front it's got the whole cast but this was a really good show, I watched it in like a week I've just finished uh, a couple of nights ago and this is so good it's got like, if you think about it, it's obviously don't take it as, oh yeah they've crashed on an island they're going to escape, just don't take it on that it's a lot more in depth, story, the character so each episode you get like a, it's about one of the characters and then it goes flushes back and it also shows you stuff on the island. But I really do like this. My favourite character is probably John Locke. He's the guy who's in the wheelchair, but I don't want to really spoil it too much. But if you've seen it, you'll know what I mean. He's a really good character. All the characters go in depth and it's not just face value you take them. I'd take them as like, you used to have to watch it all and it's so addictive. I really want to get the second season and I will be soon. But yeah, this is Region 1 again, really nice case, and it's an excellent film. J.J. Abrams did a really good job on this, and I want to check out Alias, because I know he's also wrote that. But really, 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 really good show, turning into one of my favourites this is. I don't know why I put it off for so long, but obviously I won't now, and I regret putting it off for so long, but yeah, I really did like that. So that's Lost Season 1. I went on a bit of a TV mad one this week, so that's why. 
And then next I got was Peep Show, Series 4 this one is. I've also got Season 1, 2, 3 in the, in the collection back there. And this one was just as good as the others. The dog one, ugh, oh, it's a bit, I mean, feel a bit, it's a bit wrong that one was, but all the others are excellent again. Uh, it just gets better each season, and still need to check out Series 5, and I know they've just been uh, commissioned now to film Series 6, so that'll be out in the new, well, autumn time this year. But, like I said, again, one of my favourite British shows this is. Really do like Peep Show, and definitely check that one out. You'll love it, it's just so funny. It's not laughter track, it's like point of view style, but you you should really like this. No. No doubt if you like Michelin Web, so yeah, Peep Show Series 4. Next one I got was The Royal Family Series 1. I think this is a bit underestimated, uh, British comedy this is. It's just about a family who's in the 90s, it's how they go along, it's just so funny. It's filmed all in the living room, but you can really get a good laugh out of it all. And it's Ricky Tomlinson and Sue Johnson. And Ralph Little, who's in Two Pints of Lager and a Packet of Chris, that's it. Or, yeah, definitely check this one out if you like English comedy. Really good. Uh, last TV show I got was Two and a Half Men, complete season one. I've not watched any of this yet, because I only just got it. But I've seen someone on telly, and that persuaded me to buy it. So, yeah, I'll probably put this in the next update again to tell you what I thought about it. And the last one I got was a Blu-ray, and this was a Blu-ray of Step Brothers. It's just a two-discer with a bonus digital copy. But this, again, I've done a review on this, so this will be up in a couple of days. Uh, so, yeah, it was Will Ferrell played a really good part in this, and the pitch quality was awesome. I don't want to go too much into depth with this because I've done a review, like I said, and that'll be posted a couple of days after the update. So, yeah, thanks a lot for that, guys. Uh, another one in a couple of weeks when I get some more stuff. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. Bye.